velocity and acceleration of simple harmonic motion let us consider a particle moving in a circular motion with velocity v what i'm going to do i'm going to consider diagram so here is my diagram where you can see a particle is moving with velocity v and there are two different positions of the particle that we are considering and the positions are basically q and p and let the particle is making an angle of theta and the radius of this circular path is a and we are creating a right triangle OPR where OR is X and PR is Y and OP is A. So basically this is a right triangle and the particle is moving with velocity V which is tangential to the circular path. Then the displacement is given as X is equal to A cosine omega T plus phi and where phi is my phase so basically we are moving the particle away from point P or I should say the particle is moving additional angle which is angle phi. In order to find the velocity what I can do I can differentiate this equation on both sides so we can write the velocity of the particle is given as V is equal to dx over dt that is equal to dy dt of a cosine omega t plus phi which is over here. Now as we know a is constant so a will come out and we will write velocity is equal to a dy dt of cosine omega t plus phi. Now let's differentiate cosine omega t plus phi with respect to t and if we do that we will write v is equal to a inside the bracket differentiation of omega t plus phi will be omega and differentiation of cosine omega t plus phi will be negative sine omega t and that's how we got this term right here. If we simplify further we will write v is equal to a omega sine omega t plus phi. Now let's find the acceleration of the moving particle and we know that the acceleration of the moving particle is given as a is equal to dv over dt so basically we are differentiating this velocity again so if we differentiate the velocity we will write that is equal to d over dt of this term which is right here now as you can see negative a omega is constant so i will take that constant out and then i will differentiate sine omega t plus phi and if i do that i will get a is equal to negative a omega square cosine omega t plus phi because the differentiation of sine omega t plus phi is cosine omega t and differentiation of omega t plus phi is omega and that omega times negative a omega is negative a omega square. So the acceleration is basically equal to negative a omega square cosine omega t plus phi. Now Let's simplify further. So in order to simplify further what I'm going to do I'm going to take this a with the cosine omega t plus phi and if I do that I will write a is equal to negative omega square from here and this a will go inside and we will write a cosine omega t plus phi inside the curly bracket and we know that a cosine omega t plus phi is x from here. And if we substitute that, we will write a is equal to negative omega square x. So basically, as you can see, the displacement, velocity, and acceleration of the simple harmonic motion is given like this, where displacement is this term, velocity is this term, and acceleration is this term. Now, Let's graph these three functions. So if we do that, we will get a graph something like this, where the first graph is the displacement graph, the second graph is the velocity graph, and the last one is the graph for the acceleration. And as you can see, all these graphs, they have a different phase, because as you can see, when the displacement is maximum, velocity is zero, and the acceleration is negative. And that's how displacement, velocity and acceleration of a simple harmonic motion is related to each other. And this is how we will define the velocity and acceleration of simple harmonic motion.